Do you remember in 500 Days of Summer when Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character alluded to other romantic comedies that were made that gave couples a false idea of what love is? This is not one of those movies. Crazy stars Anton Yelkin, Felicity Jones, and Jennifer Lawrence. It's about a young couple that meet and fall in love until her immigration visa expires and she's forced to move back to the United Kingdom and they're separated because of this strange law. Because of that, this couple goes through a lot of hardships, a lot of problems. This film is very similar to Blue Valentine, a film that I loved. It doesn't hold back, it doesn't fake it, it doesn't make it seem all glossy or Hollywoodized. It's very good in the way it depicts that. I need the idea of it. Of you and me. Also really good about this movie is the performances. Anton Yelkin is very good. Felicity Jones also is excellent in this film. Jennifer Lawrence doesn't have a very big part, but what she does contribute to the film is really good. The film accurately depicts what a couple would go through in a long distance relationship and the troubles of that and how that can create a serious strain on a relationship. It just seems so realistic. That's really the plus of this movie. It's not all glamorous and glittery. I stay. Would it be Hello? Um. Hey. It's not a date movie. You might look at it and say, ooh, it's a date movie. No, it's not a date movie at all. The style of the way this film was directed was very beneficial for it. It was very similar to Blue Valentine. You know, a lot of long takes, camera just observing various conversations. It made it seem kind of like you were eavesdropping on this couple's relationship. What have you been doing? Waiting for you. This doesn't feel like I'm actually part of your life. I feel like I'm on a vacation. Would it be easier if you could see other people when we're not together? The only issue I had with this film was that it jumps time gaps very often and doesn't tell you how much time has gone by, and that's not necessarily the problem. The problem is there is a little bit of information that seems really crucial to know about what has happened in between these time periods that you don't really find out. I would have liked it to have been a little more clear so I could understand where the characters' heads were. And if I was given just a little bit more information in regards to some of these time gap jumps that happen later in the film, it would have been a little easier for me to understand the motivations of the characters. I thought I understood it. My but I didn't. Not really. And This is a really excellent film, a really emotionally invested film, one that I felt like I was definitely part of and I, I could understand where this couple was and I wanted to know what was gonna happen and I felt for them. And so I'm going to give Light Crazy an A-. minus. Only the smudgeness of it, the eagerness of it, the idea of it, of you and me. If you like this review, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuck my knives.